Donald Trump held a campaign rally in Greensboro, North Carolina yesterday. And of course, the mere fact that less than two weeks from the election, Trump is having to campaign in North Carolina and defend North Carolina against the surging uh, uh, vote share of Kamala Harris in the polls is a bad sign for Donald Trump. There are good signs for Trump, but defending North Carolina 11 days before an election, 13 days before an election is not a good sign. Trump slurring heavily, saying that vice presidential candidate Tim Walls is the stupidest man to ever run for office. First, the stupidest, the stupidest man I've ever seen run for office. Is there something wrong with that guy? He's always bouncing. He's going with his heart. Yeah. As usual, Trump envious and jealous of the fact that Tim Walls appears to be able to connect with people in a far more real way than Donald Trump has ever been able to connect with anyone, even probably members of his own family. Quite frankly, Trump also now deploying uh, a staple in a sense of his new campaign, which is an impersonation of Kamala Harris that I don't think is particularly good. You know, this is not exactly up to the caliber of Shane Gillis or Matthew Friends impressions of Trump. It, it, if you're expecting that, it's not quite there. 32 days, 32, 30, 32. And as usual, Trump crowds who seem extraordinarily sheltered love comedy that just isn't funny. They love it. And the crowd really reacting to that one. As usual, in this mindset of everything Trump says, he sort of means the opposite. Trump saying he's glad that Barack Obama, or as he says, Barack Hussein Obama, is campaigning for Kamala Harris by which we can only be led to assume that Trump means he's terrified that Obama's on the campaign trail. They're bringing out Obama. I say, oh, they did that with Hillary Clinton. <laughs> Good. I'm Clinton. glad they're bringing him out. The reason they're bringing him out, because he doesn't even want to do it. I think he's ex I think he's exhausted. I watched him talk it. I think the guy's exhausted. And I, I never say a guy's looking old, but he's looking a little bit older, isn't he? You know, it's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong. Of course, what Trump means here is he's terrified that Obama's out campaigning for Harris. Obama. It's Trump who is looking older and it's Trump who's actually the exhausted one. The projection continued throughout this event, despite the fact that Trump regularly sleeps through all sorts of things. Trump says it's Kamala Harris who's doing the sleeping. That's a big group back there. You know where Kamala is today? They don't want to tell you. She's no, no, no. Do you don't know where she is? You know where she is? She's sleeping. She took a day off. She's got no energy at all. She her speeches last for about 15 minutes. And of course, it is Donald Trump who has been canceling interviews and other events. It's Trump who seems exhausted. It's Trump who's been falling asleep at all sorts of events recently. What's happening here is that Trump had a series of attacks and they were, oh, Biden sleeping. All of a sudden, Biden's not the person that Trump is running against. So Trump has no choice, I guess, because he can't come up with anything better than to keep using the exact same attack lines against Kamala Harris, even if they make no sense. In a completely backward statement, Trump says, you know who's going to make us healthy again? Bobby. Bobby Kennedy is going to make us all healthy. Make America healthy again. Come on, Bobby. Bobby's going to do it. Bobby, let's go, Bobby. You're going to make us healthy, Bobby. We will make America strong again. There you go. Bobby Kennedy is going to make us healthy again. That's Trump's idea. And then there is no end to an authoritarian rally, Castro like, painfully one hour and 54 minutes in duration. It's not over until the orange man does the double jerk dance. All right. So Trump, uh, capping off another harebrained rally, the crowd disoriented and confused. Sometimes, you know, it's funny. There's a competition. <laughs> there's a competition 
at Trump rallies. Who's more confused, Trump or the crowd? And sometimes it's really difficult to tell. If you stay on top of the news, you follow politics and elections. Why not win cash for it? Manifold is the app and website where you can win cash for predicting what will happen next in politics, and it is free to play. Questions like, will Trump win the presidential election? Will Kamala Harris flip a state? Will political commentator Destiny appear on Joe Rogan's podcast? If you predict correctly, you win play money called mana or sweep cash. One sweep cash is redeemable for a US dollar. So if you predict right, you can turn it into cash. And the platform gives you free mana and sweep cash to play with every single day. Go to manifold.markets slash Pacman and you'll get free extra sweep cash just for signing up to start you on your journey. No purchase necessary to win cash or prizes. If you want to go bigger, you can use my link to get 40 extra sweep cash when you spend $20 on mana. If you put that 40 sweep cash on Trump losing the election, at the current odds, you win 70 sweep cash if he loses, redeemable for $70 cash. You must be a U.S. resident, 18 or older. See terms and conditions. The link is in the description.